We are at uh, Haogang Stadium this evening for the AIA Singapore Premier League match between Haogang United and Tampines Rovers. A Wednesday evening kickoff that pits two sides who've had varying degrees of fortune this season and uh, perhaps might feel the last result could prove a little upturn in fortune. Zulfami, lovely ball from him, that's what he can do. Midfield position, Amy Rekard asking for a handball. All that went up, and the referee, without any doubt, pointing to the spot. Not really seeing too much descent there from the Tampanese players. He's scored too many this season, but Deluso. But he adds to his tally here. And Haugan United have the lead. Through that penalty, is fourth of the campaign, Pedro Bertaluso. No real contention for that penalty, Russian, but it's a good lead here for Halga. They've been, uh, they've started fairly well. Well, to be fair, Tampines have had five days. Oh, that's a great ball, and he's needed in, hasn't he? Nakamura. Everyone just seemed to stand still. It's one all. Out of the blue. What was that? It almost <laughs> seemed to happen in slow motion, really. And the Haugang players, Haugang defenders, were looking at the uh, assistant referee more in hope than any sort of expectation they were going to get it. But there have been a couple of times now where these late runs from deep, Kyoga Nakamura, have a look at him. He's free in midfield, makes a late run with such a well-timed run. It's an excellent run from Kyoga Nakamura. Ten minutes, just about. This first up, it's a matter of time. That's not a great ball across, and it should be an easy finish. Well, that seemed a lapse of concentration at the back for Tampines Rovers. And Bertoluzzo has got his second. It's 2-1 now to Hauga. Well, that's uh, Van Huizen really, and immediately sinks to his knees, knows that he's messed up here. It's, it's this first touch backwards, and then that second ball as he looks to try and play it back to Irfan. Uh, that opens up the opportunity for Haugang to, to really pounce on that error. Oh, he's found his way through! Kapitovic! Well, that was on the side closer to Mukunda, and it was marginally more to his left. And he's got the equaliser here. Boris Kapitovic makes it 2 all, and his 17th goal of the season to increase his lead at the top of the scoring charts of the SPL. Great play to be able to bring on. Oh, that has found its way through. It's a hat-trick for Pedro Bortoluzzo. Well, out of nothing, <laughs> they have taken the lead for the third time in this match, Haugang United. There's like three Tampanese goals now that they've conceded here where it just doesn't feel as if Haugang have had to work that hard. I mean, credit to Pedro Bortoluzzo. Shawal Anwar. Managing this now. Kaishu fires that across the goal. And that is another one for Hauga right at the end of this game. It's Shaul Anwa who makes it four for his side tonight. Lovely camera angle on that goal as well from Shawa. You can see that shot coming in from him. Lovely work from uh, Hauga here. The patient in the build up down the right hand side. He's stringing a few passes together. Shawa links up with Nazrul. Gives it to Kaishu Yamazaki and makes his way into the area. And have a look at this. The moment it falls to Shawal, that's lovely camera work on that shot. I think we we conceded simple goals, yeah. easy goals. Gave the opposition easy chances to score, whereas they themselves had to work incredibly hard to get those goals for yeah. themselves. And that brings to an end. This match here, which really came to life around the hour mark or so 
It's a fourth win in five for Haugang against Tampines Rovers. It's another high-scoring affair. We had six goals today in keeping with recent tradition. Tampines Rovers now five games without a win in all competitions since a 2-0 triumph against Geelong International on the 18th of June. 